Hey everyone, this is Bad But Sweaty, and in today's video I will be breaking down everything notable that was covered in DevStream 84. The main theme for this stream being the recently released update, 14.1. This time, just a quick note, I will be pronouncing these names very wrong because I'm a dumb American who only speaks English. We were joined by Forsythia, the Senior Community Manager, Wojciech Jureska, a junior designer, and a new stream guest, Ty Lee, who is the community manager and is also responsible for creating that masterpiece of an April Fool's trailer. Without any further delay, let's begin. The stream kicked off with the devs talking about the changes made to vote to kick. But I already covered that in a previous video, so go watch that if you don't know what was changed. There were also a lot of the same old questions being asked, such as when the upcoming season will be here, and what the devs are going to do about jump shotting and camping. But those have been answered a hundred times before, so I'm not going to cover them here. The devs confirmed that there will be a countdown timer for the last chunk of the season. They aren't exactly sure how long it will be, but they did say that it should be longer than a week. They also subtly confirmed that Myron will be coming to encounters in Season 15, writing in response to a question about whether the map will be coming in May or not, maybe, with the first three letters capitalized, hinting that it will drop sometime in May. And again, to another question about the map, you have to wait a bit more to see. With all the capital letters in the response spelling out, yes. The issue of ammo disappearing in shootout was brought up a few times. The devs responding with, we are aware that this is happening and the team is working on it, but the fix is not ready yet. Following that, the removal of Legacy Seasons was delayed. It will no longer be coming in Season 15. The devs also said that they will likely let players know roughly one season in advance before they are removed. So don't worry about your legacy seasons just disappearing on you without warning one day. Another community member asked about the organization of the weapons in the weapons tab of the shelter. The asker wanting the loadout screen to be organized similarly to the shop. The devs said that they are looking into this change. Adding Vote to Kick into Shootout was also mentioned. The devs said that they need to look into it and see how big of a problem people farming a friend for a win is. Someone suggested adding a system that would prevent people from getting in the same match for two matches or more in a row as a possible fix. The devs replied that they wouldn't like to do that as it would negatively impact matchmaking times. Personally, I don't see this as being necessary because people farming each other to win shootouts is extremely rare. It was brought up several times throughout the stream, and the devs confirmed that they are going to be looking deeper into the servers due to the uptick in reports of server connection problems. In less important news, a chatter asked when LMGs will be removed at one point, and there was a very strange conversation about tactical boxer brief cosmetics not long after. The devs bookended the stream by urging players to use the vote to kick system responsibly, saying, if you don't like the way your teammate is playing, then tough luck. Do not try to kick them out using the system. It will probably not work and will just make them unhappy. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. This has been Bad But Sweaty from the Christopher Beast channel. Have a nice day.